So I've just arrived at Nitro Gear here. This is just differentials in Kashmir, Washington. The guys have been super incredibly uh, patient with me since I'm so late. They're gonna try to get the truck in. They said they might get two guys on it, which is just amazing. That's the customer service that I'm looking for. I hope that this doesn't spill into Friday because then I'm gonna have to try to figure out how to get a ride home, which is three and a half hours away. But. It's gonna make such a huge difference. Uh, the whole way up here, the truck's just hunting for gears. There's no power to pass people on the pass. It desperately needs this uh, re-gear. filming and not working. It's weird. I was telling the other guy, I never uh, I never take my truck anywhere. I do all the work. Yeah. But this is just the one thing I don't really want to do. Probably a good idea. Yeah, that's a good yeah. idea. Yeah, I did a lot of research and everyone just, just said take it to professionals. First, we first did 488s on these. Yeah. And uh, which is still a tremendous help. Right. Uh, the first time we did one, I took it for a drive. And I came back and they're like, how is it? I'm like, honestly, I go, it needs 529s. They're like, seriously? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, because at 60, it'll do 1900 RPM. You want to be around like 21. Okay. Right. Good morning, guys. So I spent the night at my sister's house here in Wenatchee uh, which was really extremely convenient for me um, because it's only 15 minutes away from Kashmir but uh, if you were planning on coming out here making the trip it's totally worth it to see these guys they are I mean I was watching them work yesterday and they're just like smooth professionals they're so fast at this job uh, it's really, really incredible. A, a re-gear is definitely something the truck needs, like really, really bad now, but uh, it took me forever to do this because it was sort of like a gradual loss of power over time. Like I put 33s on and I lost a little bit of power, but it was manageable. I put an aluminum bumper on it, lost a little bit of power, but it was fine. You know, put a back, a rear bumper on it. Okay, now it's starting to feel kind of sluggish. Then I put 35s on, it's like, you're still getting by, but the truck's working really, really hard. Hopefully the 5.29 gear ratio is gonna do okay for my truck. I have 35s. 5.29 is kind of a better ratio for like between 35s and 37s. Um, but I do tow my trailer a lot, so I really want that low end power. I'm not really going for speed or anything like that. Uh, I just want that power back. So even on the highway, um, when doing long distance trips, if I'm pulling my trailer, the speed limit's 80, I'm probably gonna be going 70 in the slow lane. I'm not trying to like max out the speed limit. Uh, but a lot of guys that got the 4.88s, uh, either, either they love it or they reported back saying they, they felt like they needed more power. Obviously the 4.88s are gonna give you more power than the stock, so you're gonna like it. And so what I've heard from the guys at the mechanic shop here that are working on the truck is that the truck 
that the third gen Tacoma, specifically the third gen, so as you second gen guys, this doesn't really count for you, but the third gen Tacoma likes to be really, really high in the RPMs. That's just where that motor um, functions best. A couple more hours of just hanging out and I'm gonna go back to the shop. We're gonna test drive it for the first time. I can't wait and then I gotta take it nice and slow back over the pass on my way home today. Make sure to break these gears in nice and slow. That was good timing. Hey, first drive, huh? Perfect timing. For drive? Can I jump in for the first you drive? You wanna drive it? Sure. Okay. All right. All right, so they just pulled the truck out. We're gonna go test drive it for the first time. We're gonna do a small loop. You said it was about like 10 miles? It's eight mile. Eight mile loop, just to test the gears. All right, so we're going that way. Yeah, we're going that way. Okay. Already feels better, huh? Yeah, <laughs> it does. Honestly, that right there is when you notice it the most. When you first take <laughs> yeah. off, you're like, oh, hey. You mean I could put it in reverse and let my foot off the brake and it rolls? <laughs> yeah. Oh, it does feel better. Yeah. Yeah, normally it's just like, it's like a hollow, uh, like there's just, you're giving it gas and it's just like, nothing. Oh, yeah, nothing. There's just it's nothing there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Much more responsive. Yeah, much more. Whoa. <laughs> Dude, that's awesome. This is the biggest bang for your buck. It really is. No way. Oh, I feel so much better. More dynamic shift down too. It's like it doesn't, yeah, it it doesn't take time. It doesn't hunt. It's just, oh, you're on the gas. Let's shift down. Yeah, exactly. It's not hunting for gears anymore. So what we, what we like to do when you start off, take it about 10 miles okay. and then stop for about 30 to 40 minutes. Let it cool down. Okay. Um, the more times you do that, the better. Um, but bare minimum, I think we like to do about three times. Okay. Um, so that, that takes a little bit of time. It does. <laughs> um, so, yeah, don't be in a big hurry. Um, and don't tow anything for at least 500 miles. Dang. No drag racing. Take it easy on the gears. Okay. Um, because the, the final, it's it's the final, like I said, it's the break-in. It's the final, you're, you're kind of finally polishing those gears together yeah. in real time. They do it at the factory, okay. however, but you know, it's real world circumstances. It's got a load on it now. So you just want to get that, you know, that final polishing effect really is, is what's going okay. on. A ring and a pinion are a matched set. You can't swap just the pinion gear with another ring gear or vice versa. Right, yeah, you gotta do both. Because the final lapping process has been together. Yeah, man, I, I tell you what, this feels way better. Isn't that great? Yeah, <laughs> it's like a totally different truck. Yeah. I was getting to the point where I was like, should I sell my Tacoma <laughs> and get something that can handle? Because you know, I keep adding stuff on. I was telling the camera earlier, uh -huh. it's been a, it's been a gradual power loss. It wasn't like I took my sh my truck in the shop one day, mm -hmm. came out with all these mods, and was like, whoa, there's no power anymore. Yeah, it was like I, I had I had 32 inch tires, 33 inch tires. I was like, oh, that kind of no that and then I added one bumper and it kind of went down a little bit more yep. added another bumper mm -hmm. so it's been this gradual loss of power until finally now I'm realizing like wow this is it it's feels a dog. it's a dog <laughs> yeah but uh this makes a huge difference it feels like um it feels kind of like driving off the lot when it was new you know yeah, it, that yeah. didn't have all this crap on it you know yeah the, the modern vehicles man they're they're so finely tuned you know it's not you know, you always hear it. It's not like the old cars where you can just slap bigger tires on it or yeah, it good or whatever. Yeah. Um, Regearing is so nice because it brings that it brings your engine RPMs back down to the correct area in relation to the transmission. Yeah. You know, your shift points go back to where they're supposed to be. Um, and like Jeremy mentioned too, you get a lot of guys like, well, no, you know, they can put bigger tires on their their vehicle. Mm -hmm. I don't want to regear because. They, they automatically assume because they're rolling 1500 RPMs down the highway, they're getting better gas mileage. Well, they're not because their foot is halfway down the gas pedal. Right, yeah. You know, they're just pouring gas down the engine. Yeah. And again, like you said, you're shifting in and out. You can't, you know, your engine's not happy, your transmission's not happy. You will actually, you won't get back up to stock because you're running bigger tires, you're running more yeah. weight. Your, yeah. your gas mileage suffers because of that. However, you will no longer lose gas mileage because your RPMs are too low and your foot's in the engine. So you will actually get a, few, a, a little better gas mileage out of it. Cool. I'm looking forward to that. Look at that. It, it didn't it shifted down just nice going up that hill. Yeah. You know, you're 45 miles an hour, you shifted nice. 
and yeah. then it didn't shift down and then up and then down again right. down some more because it doesn't know where it's at what about breaking in the um, the front diff we uh, try to do the front the same way however you know it's real life you're not gonna run the so if you're doing like say if, if you are on like a long long trip yeah and you will be you know, say you're on an old dirt road, just stick it on four wheel drive and just go yeah, go just for ten do, miles and then let it cool off. Do the same, same thing. thing. Just take yeah, it easy the first time it's in, yeah. in four. Okay, I'll remember that because I'm going to Moab in, in like two weeks. Okay, uh, and I am towing a trailer, so I'm going to try to get, get your five hundred in. Yeah, yeah. and then and then change your oil. truck would be pushier. I mean, I haven't Nothing even... Nothing happens. Yeah. I, bar- I barely even put my foot down on the pedal, yeah. and it's it's getting up to speed, but normally I have to like almost hit the pedal to the floor. Mm-hmm. The truck lurches, and it's just super high in the RPMs in order to get up on a, yeah. you know, up on a plane almost, and yeah. it feels like you're the, in a boat. The, the newer Tacomas, man, I, I, it's unbelievable. Because normally, you know, the bulk of our Toyota that we sell, you know, across brands, for the most part, are 488s. Yeah. When people are putting bigger tires on, 488 is great. These, 488 is great, but 529 is better. For the third gen Tacoma. For the third gen Tacoma. Yeah. That's what you were saying yesterday, because it, it likes to be in the higher RPMs. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Do you think uh, I could still benefit from doing like a re like a retune or anything like that, or getting those kits? Is that worth the worth the time or the money? Oh, I don't know. Teach his own, I guess. Um, yeah. Some vehicles have to. Toyota has been nice enough that um, you can regear your vehicle and it doesn't tweak everything out. Yeah. Um, we have a lot of vehicles. You, you regear them, they go into limp mode. You have to you have to reprogram the computer. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, boy. A little further. Yeah, a little further. Up. But that was an eight-mile loop right there. Perfect. You know, it's, yeah. it's good enough. Yeah, it felt pretty quiet. I tried to be... I didn't, like, step on no, anything really too much, yeah. but... Yeah, it felt really good. All done with the gears and I'm heading back. It's just really hard to explain the difference. It's amazing. Like, yes, my RPMs are a little higher in some gears, but it. But what's different though is that it shifts into the higher gears and then you, uh, you inevitably have, or you end up having lower RPMs. Like right now I'm climbing this huge hill. I mean, this thing's humongous, right? But I would never be able to be in, I'm not sure what gear I'm in right now, but it would never be this low. It would be going at like 3,500 RPM, screaming to get up this in like third gear, maybe even second gear. But it's just crawling right up super easily, probably in fourth or fifth gear. So, although your RPMs are higher by going with this lower gear ratio, it's still better suited for the truck because the truck then can downshift or upshift appropriately where beforehand it's just searching for gears constantly and it and so it does it does it really does feel really good and it's been a lot easier on the truck and I'm watching my uh, my gas mileage come up and up and up as I go so uh, yeah it's it's a really uh, really good experience so far I'm enjoying it So pretty much home now and just, I mean, I don't know how many times I've driven that same route home and like what a difference. I Like it's just so much better. The truck is just cruising right along at two, 2,000 RPMs and it's just very comfortable and quiet. It's much less stressful. I always feel like I'm just beating the crap out of my truck when I go over the pass because it's constantly upshifting and downshifting. And like all over the place and it's lurching and this was just way way more like chilled and relaxed it just just kind of just cruise it's comfortably cruised i hope that you enjoyed this video that you found it informative thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate your views and your and your support you guys have been such an awesome awesome audience i feel so very fortunate to have you guys watching so thank you very much all right guys Get some work done this week. Don't be lazy, but don't forget to live.